here is like a real point of contention in families. It was a huge pressure point in my house. So how do you thread this needle? How do you get what you want this year, which is a year to yourself to kind of sort out your life so that way you can make the right decisions going forward, but also give your parents the security, knowing that you're you're not gonna flounder your life away right off the jump. So in today's video, I wanna go over two things, two things to consider uh, when having this conversation with your parents. Uh, the first one is pretty nuclear, but I think it's an important thing to talk about, and the second much more reasonable. So without further ado, let's talk gap year. So I say this pretty tongue in cheek, but this year, if you want to take a gap year, you should kill your parents. Well, metaphorically speaking, of course, like in, a, in a poetic fashion. You see, when I was in high school, I read this book. It was called The Way of the Superior Man by David Detta. And in one chapter titled Live as if your father were dead, the author talks about the pressures our, our parents put on us. You see, as kids, we want our parents' affection, we want their love because that gives us safety. So subconsciously we'll do things to get their validation. And that's a great like survival strategy when, when you're a kid. But as adults, it can get in the way of what we actually want. So one question I found myself asking myself and one thing I'd, I'd like you to ask yourself is, what would you do if your parents were dead? If they weren't behind you right now during this important transition point in your life, would taking a gap year even be a question? Would it feel like a risk or would you just go ahead and do it because it felt like the right thing to do? Whatever you want for yourself, if it's actually what you want, it's the right thing. After the dust settles, your parents are gonna support the shit out of you. Going for the nuclear option right off the bat isn't very productive and it's not the very first thing you should consider doing, but it's something you should keep, you know, in your back pocket, all right? You know, you know the new codes in your head. It doesn't mean you have to push the button, but you have to be willing to push the button just out of your own self-respect for living for yourself because you can't be a kid forever. So with the nuclear option out of the way, let's talk about the more reasonable way of, of going about this. And that's flipping the script. Parents often want their kids to go to school right away, well, out of fear, really. And there's a big benefit to them if you go to school right away. If you go to school today, they don't have to worry about you for four years. For the next four years, they know that you're building towards some kind of security. And when you say, I don't want to go to school right away, it's like throwing all of that away. And that triggers a lot in parents. And it triggers something, it triggers something different in anybody. For, for my mom, it was, you know, she had graduated college with honors despite having me and my brother at a a very young age. For your parents, maybe they, they immigrated here and went to school. It might be because a, a family member decided not to go to school and, and lost their way. The thought of you not having security hangs a bit of fear inside of them. Your job as the person convincing them that you need to go to, well, you need to take a gap year before going to school. It's to come up with a very serious plan and what, well, what you wanna get out of this gap year and then where you wanna go from here. So that way you can speak with conviction to your parents on why this, is a, this isn't right right now. Because when you speak with conviction, when you know what you want, then your parents can stop being nervous about you. That, that's, that's really all it is. So make, it e make it easy for them to not worry about you. Have a plan, figure it out, and understand what you wanna get out of this gap year. Well, I felt like that was, that was a really big video. I hope you found it helpful. I know I can, like saying it, I wish I heard those words when I was just graduating high school. It would have made things just way more smooth. Please subscribe to the channel for more help on how to take an amazing gap year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.